Puck dropped here for the second period of the Division I Finals, and it's the final game of this best of three matchup as Arizona State University and UC Santa Barbara are currently tied one-to-one -one in the match. Whoever takes home the D1 trophy for the 2019 WCRHL Regional Championships. Arizona State currently leading two to one here over the Gauchos as we see Cy Jewel up ahead. He skates in the shot, Guerrero with the save. Logan Guerrero, the goalie for UC Santa Barbara. Scoring summary of the game so far, Chase Steele scoring the first goal for Arizona State. Assisted by Hayden Knight, Tyler Baroni from Alex Paquette for UC Santa Barbara to tie it up. And then Arizona State with the go-ahead goal on the power play. It was Wes Fry from Cy Jewel and Chase Steele. So two-point game here for Chase Steele. The freshman out of Peoria, say, city I just learned to say today. Brian Chong here on the call as we bring you the action as the shot comes through, kicks back out as Guerrero made the first save, and he makes the second one as it's under his pad. So Guerrero looking solid out there to start out the second period as UCSB are getting pressured out now by ASU. Arizona State controlled out the zone, except Cy Jewel fumbles with it. He's able to backhand that one, backhand that one back, though. Arizona State will control in their own zone. They've controlled most of the start of the second period here. They are 10.40 left on the clock in the second period. Chase Steele, the leading point scorer right now for ASU in this series. He's got two goals, two assists for four points as they, that's him with it now, trying to drive it in, but he's unable to. CSB takes it back the other way, skating on through the shot onto Giddings and the save by Giddings. Aaron Giddings standing tall there. That's his first test of the period as UCSB were cutting in front and looking at a good scoring chance there. This is the winner-take-all game of the series there as UCSB picks it out in front. They cannot pick it up, though, and good defense there by Arizona State to take it off their sticks. And now they'll work it back. Trevor Weinstock backhanded it, poked it up ahead, but Alex Paquette will pick it up for UCSB. Alex Paquette is the leading point scorer for the Gauchos in the playoffs there. He has two goals, two assists, or four points. Kevin Moody leaves it for Paquette. Paquette chips that one back in and Vieira will be there for it. Vieira tries to send that one out, but it's blocked by Weinstock. Good stop on that pass there and he picks up the pass himself as the Sun Devils bring it in the other way. Out behind the net. Still holding on to it, Weinstock. Finally pitches it back for Ryan, An or, sorry, not Ryan Anderson, but Paxton Parker for Arizona State, who gives it right back behind the net. Hayden Knight, the junior, holding it here. Nine minutes to go in this second period, and it's a close affair between these two teams, and that's how it's been all series long, as the previous scores for this. Let's hold on here. Paxton Parker trying to move that one forward, decides to circle back with it. The previous scores for these games, a 3-2 overtime victory for Arizona State to start this best of three series. UCSB able to tie up the series with a 4-2 or four to two win over ASU. So once again, low scoring but close affairs between these two teams. That's what it's been. Trevor Weinstock skating in the shot that ends up high. Comes off the glass. They try to send that one back, but UCSB picks it up. 
Skating back the other way. Cutting through center. Pass out. Backhander and the save by Giddings. He gets a piece of that with the glove. Slick, mo slick moves there from Andrew Vieira. But Aaron Giddings was up for the test. Kevin Mooney with it. He loses it though. And now it's sent all the way up. Out in front, Logan Guerrero able to chip that one away. Going hard for it, Trevor Weinstock. He dives and he's able to get it over for his teammate. That's Chase Steele. One of the goal, store, goal scorers for ASU this game. Wes Fry back with it, the senior. He leaves it for a side jewel. Also a senior. He will send it ahead. Steal again with it. He leaves it for Hayden Knight. Knight will circle back with it. Arizona State, this is the name of the game. Good possession here and able to cycle it through as Fryer now has it. Sends it ahead for Jewel, who's battling there. And good defensive play there by the Gaucho to tie him up. And now it'll come back down behind Aaron Giddings. Battling for it along the boards here. That's Tala Baroni for the Gauchos. He scored the goal for UCSB this game. Back the other way. Chase Steele out in front. Saved by Logan Guerrero. 6.20 to go in the period as UCSB takes it back the other way. Sends a chip shot in there. Defended well. That was Tala Baroni looking for another potential goal. ASU, back the other way, backhand shot, and they score! Arizona State have extended their lead. They lead three to one. I believe another goal there by Chase Steele for a second of the game. UCSB have it now, out in front and they can't pick that one up. A huge chance there for Duncan Prince out in front of Aaron Giddings. And he wasn't able to pick up the pass that came across from Ryan Anderson. Momentum going here for, UC, for a Arizona State University. They've been controlling the possession, controlling the game. And that's what led to Wes Fry picking up the goal. Assisted by Chase Steele. So Chase Steele's third point on the night. West Fry second. That's two goals for West Fry. A goal and two assists for Chase Steele. So West Fry now with three goals so far in the series. And trying to force that one ahead and able to evade the body check was. Paxton Parker for Arizona State, but UCSB, UCSB already have it back the other way. Shot from out far, and that comes out around the boards. Picked up, though, by Kevin Mooney. Kevin Mooney, just a sensational player here as he holds it for UCSB. 29 goals, 34 assists on the regular season. So that's 63 points. Led all of Division One, obviously, there. Six power play goals as well. The only player I could find that led the team in goals, assists, power play goals, and penalty minutes. Not saying he commits too many penalties, just 12 penalty minutes on the season in 20 games, so not too shabby at all. Kevin Mooney, an impact player here for UCSB. He's able to pick up the puck along the boards as Cy Joel was dropped it there. Kevin Mooney in and the shot that comes past. And now a break the other way. Arizona State have the numbers. Poked away by Logan Guerrero. Great play by the goaltender here for UCSB. 340 left on the clock here. And the Gauchos come up with it. Skating through still. 
still under the backhander and Giddings was there. Andrew Vieira trying to force the play. And once again, Giddings up to the task there. Kevin Mooney at the top again. Skates on through traffic, the shot that's blocked out in front. Tyler Baroni up top with it now. Sends a shot in and that one's blocked by Trevor Weinstock. Arizona State looking to take it the other way, but they'll have to settle this one down. Steele leaves it behind the net. Two four checkers here as it's sent out along the boards. Fry to pick it up and to take it the other way. Stretch pass ahead. Steele is in there, gets taken down by Kevin Mooney and play continues there. As Steele was given a cold forearm by Kevin Mooney and taken down. Gouchers have it back the other way. The shot out in front and the rebound can't go. Alex Paquette on the doorstep there as Aaron Giddings made that first save and now back the other way. The shot saved by Guerrero. Into the corner, UCSB have it again. End to end action in the Division I Finals here. 2.20 left on the clock. Out in front, the shot! Glove saved by Aaron Giddings. Grade A chances for UC Santa Barbara. Some of them, they're whipping on some of them. It's Huge saves by Aaron Giddings. Major whip, major whip. Trevor Weinstock after the faceoff there. Arizona State are the ones to pick it up. Weinstock will hold it behind his own net. The junior out of San Jose holding it here. He leaves it for Hayden Knight, the freshman, who picks up the pace, sends a shot. That one's blocked by Duncan Prince. Good work there to prevent that shot from getting through to Guerrero. The ASU still pick it up and they'll maintain possession. ASU continue to hold it, Hayden Knight. Takes it through the middle. Weaves his way around. Sends the shot, that one ends up high. Coming back the other way for UCSB. Still gets the shot through and a penalty upcoming. It'll be to Arizona State University as Andrew Vieira was tied up and drew the penalty. Power play upcoming here for the Gauchos. This will be their first power play of the game. So we're gonna look at UCSB's, UCSB on the man advantage. Out there for the penalty kill of Arizona State is West Friday, Trevor Weinstock inside Jewel. West Friday, take the face off as UCSB picks it up. Tyler Baroni, Kevin Mooney out here for UCSB. Also with them is Andrew Vieira. As there's a minute left to go in the second period, UCSB had the man advantage. Setting it out to the side, seeking the shot in there and it comes out wide. Baroni sends it back. They exchange up top. This is Mooney, reverses it. Back for Mooney, sends a shot, tipped out in front into the netting, out of play there. There are 36.4 seconds on the clock. Face off, one back for Andrew Vieira. For the Gauchos, 30 seconds on the clock here in the second period. They played 40 seconds of power play time here. Vieira sends that one out in front. It comes back out. Mooney sends a shot. It's blocked. West Fry was right in front of that one. And it was actually the shot by Alex Paquette. Mooney now skates it in. 12 seconds left. 10 seconds now. Out in front. Vieira, the one-timer. And Giddings with the toe save. Into the boards. 
comes back out, three seconds left, looking for the shot, and Giddings makes the stop, and the buzzer goes. A flurry of chances for UCSB at the end of the period there on the power play, but that power play will have to extend into the third period as Arizona State, Arizona State University leads three to one. Back for the third period, set UCSB on the power play. Andrew Vieira holding it here for the Gauchos. Kevin Mooney sends that one out in front of the shot, they score! UC Santa Barbara on the board early in the third period, a power play goal. Gacho's converting on the power play, and another chance there. Aaron Giddings makes the stop. Sorry, Brandon, I had to let them see the thing. Eleven twenty to go in this third period, Arizona State. Only leading by one now after UCSB converting on the man advantage for the goal. Backhanded along the boards for Kevin Mooney who skates in and puts Paxton Parker in quite a position there. Trying to defend with your back to Kevin Mooney is a definitely a difficult task, I think. Alex Paquette trying to send that one through, he won't be able to. And Alex Paquette, the goal scorer for UC Santa Barbara, and that's his, the power play goal. Kevin Mooney bringing in the toe drag, skates it out in front, he's taken down. Another shot from Baroni, and it ends up in the corner. Trying to send that one in, Giddings able to stop that one, deflected into the corner now for Mooney. Mooney, across, out in front, and that one skips back into the same corner on the left side here. Mooney across again. And the Gauchos will switch up Andrew Vieira here. Leaves it for Mooney. Mooney sends a shot and Giddings picks that one up. Makes the stop. Alex Paquette with his team leading three goals so far in the playoffs. 
Strong showing from him here in the regional championship. Also has an assist this game on the, must, uh, on the Gaucho's first goal. Just under 10 minutes to go here in the third period. And it's a one goal game as Ryan Anderson holds it. Can't get around the Sun Devil though. And still on it here. Good work by this ASU player. Still has it. The shot coming through. That was Wes Fry with coast to coast moves there. Gave the get it around two Gauchos. Passes picked up by both teams turnovers as Andrew Vieira has it now for UCSB. Couldn't force that one through and Chase Steele comes up with it. Steele now skating up. Can't skate through there is Chase Steele and UCSB comes up with it. Andrew Vieira sends that one back for Alex Paquette. Paquette up for Ryan Anderson. Ryan Anderson stumbling on the play there and it will come over for Hayden Knight. Great defensive play there right now by the Gauchos. That was Andrew Vieira tying up his man, Cy Jewell, preventing the shot from coming out. Haven't seen much of ASU's possession game so far in this period. UCSB's been pressuring hard and getting their chances down low in the ASU zone. Off the faceoff though, it'll be batted away and picked up by UCSB to be taken the other way by Duncan Prince. Prince moving in with the leads it for Mike Hurley, the shot out in front for Giddings and Giddings made that stop the rebound coming out. Sending it across, Duncan Prince will leave it for Paquette. Paquette moving in, shoots and Giddings with the routine save there, had the angle on Paquette. Eight twenty to go in the third period as the Sun Devils lead three to two. Haven't scored since five fifty four in that second period. UCSB has been able to pressure them hard here. A break now for Arizona State. Breakaway, backhander glove by Guerrero. What a save. Guerrero absolutely robbing Hayden Knight with the glove. He was all alone and Guerrero made the save. I'll be on the line. Find the net here, Arizona State come up with it. However, it's batted away. Nice play there by Alex Paquette to get that one out of danger as three Sun Devils were down low by the net. And uh, essentially we're about to force another diff tough, tough save by Logan Guerrero after he just robbed Hayden Knight on the breakaway. So keeping it a three to two game. But Arizona State now have possession. They hold it behind their net. Breakout developing here. They skated up the left wing and send that one back. Drop pass there as UCSB able to break up a pass, but it will be Ashton Parker to pick it up, sending that one all the way back for Alex McDonald. Oh, Michael Bloom here. Michael Bloom for the Sun Devils, up for Cy Jewell. Out across, out in front, poked away by Guerrero. Paxton Parker, right in front, parked himself there, had, and the pass came through, and Logan Guerrero poked that one away. Shot coming out. UCSB with the shot, getting the save, and now another break for a, a Sun Devil, and the shot ends up wide. Chase Steele. Setting that one right. He's had three points tonight, one goal, two assists. And another chance there to put the Sun Devils ahead again. Kevin Mooney trying to skate in here. He's tied up. Guarded by two of the Sun Devils here. Still has it though. Mooney across the one timer and it comes back out. Kick back out for Mooney. UCSB with some pressure now. 
Shot from out far, out in front, backhander, Giddings made two stops there. And Arizona State looking to slow it down. West Fry has it behind the net. Six minutes to go in this third period. Breaking up a play there, Arizona State, and now back the other way, two on one developing here. Shot, and Guerrero makes the stop. Face off here to the right of Logan Guerrero. ASU leading 3-2 here. 5.30 to go in this third period as UCSB takes it into the zone. Wheeling around the net, centering pass, the shot by Baroni, and it pops up out of play. Chances on both ends for both the Gauchos and the Sun Devils. And once again, this is the final game of the best of three. Winner takes all here for the Division I Championship at the Western Collegiate Roller Hockey League 2019 Regional Championships. Kevin Mooney here for the faceoff. Wins that one forward, sends a shot, and that one hits the netting. 523 on the clock here in the third period. And it's been a close affair for the entirety of this series. Arizona State picking up the win in the first game, 3-2 in overtime. UCSB coming back to tie it 4-2 in the second game. And now in this third and final game, we're at 3-2 with 5.23 to go in the third period. Arizona State controlling it off the faceoff, but UCSB is pressuring hard. And they'll be able to get to it first, take it into the boards. Penalty called here against ASU. UCSB still control it though. The shot saved by Giddings. And they'll finally blow the whistle down on the delayed call. UCSB will go on the man advantage with 5.05 to go and a golden opportunity here to tie up the game. They've already converted on one power play. That was... They already converted on one power play. That was courtesy of Alex Paquette with the shot, Kevin Mooney with the assist. And now they'll have a man advantage for two minutes. Power play unit for the Gauchos. Kevin Mooney, Andrew Vieira, Tyler Baroni, and Alex Paquette. Across for Paquette, can't pick up the pass. Weinstock there with it, backhands it up. Doesn't quite get that one out though, but he'll look to carry it out. Trevor Weinstock the other way. Still holding on to that one there and a penalty called. It'll be against UCSB this time. And we'll have, we're gonna be going back to uh, even strength here, three on three. As a very abbreviated power play there for the Gauchos. Alex Paquette called on the penalty. And they'll have some three on three. Kevin Mooney at the faceoff with a try. Mooney wins it back. Gives it back for Andrew Vieira, who is taken into the boards here. He'll fight for this one here and able to get it up for Kevin Mooney, who sends it across for Tyler Baroni. Baroni sends it back. Guerrero stops it up for Mooney. And Mooney will take it up now. Arizona State should briefly have a power play upcoming. As there's 4 10 to go here in this third period. UCSB controlling the puck though as Kevin Mooney picks it up. Tense game here. Four minutes to go in the third period. ASU with the one goal lead. UCSB fighting for the game here. Out in front. The one timer Mooney couldn't get it. Vieira now with it. Still in the Arizona State zone. A broken stick on the play. And a scary thought right there as Kevin Mooney's stick was broken. He had to head back to pitch it over for Logan Guerrero, but he picks up a stick from the bench. Now still in play. 
Out cross. Kevin Mooney out in front. Giddings makes the stop. Another shot. Giddings was there again and he covers. Huge chances again both ways. Three twenty-three to go in the third period. It's a three to two game here, but we have a timeout, so we'll be right back after that one here as we take a bit of a break. We bet we'll be right back with more of the action of these Division One finals. Three twenty-three to left in this third period. It's a tense one here between UCSB and Arizona State. US, UCSB have had the momentum going forward, but haven't been able to convert on some golden chances here as Andrew Vieira will circle with it. He's holding at the top of the circle. Back for Kevin Mooney. Arizona State will now have a brief power play for 20 seconds, but Kevin Mooney has it. The shot out in front. And Arizona State back the other way. A two-on-one here. Pass the cross, pass back, the shot, saved by Guerrero! Arizona State will have a face-off in the offensive zone with eight seconds of power play time yet left. So if they're able to win this face-off, they'll have a good opportunity here to Pick up a two goal lead here as they lead three to two in the third period. <laughs> Kevin Mooney off the face off, wins it back hard. Vieira off the boards for Mooney. Mooney controls it and we're back to four on four there. Kevin Mooney holding on to it in his own zone. The junior there and he leaves it for Andrew Vieira. The air ahead for Mooney. Mooney, we're gonna turn that one in. He's still got it there. Out in front for Baroni, the shot. Jennings picks it up. The rebound comes out though. Baroni gets back for it. Tries to send that one across, but a weak pass picked up by Arizona State. Chase Steele now with it. Steele sends it all the way across, and Kevin Mooney was there, but ASU able to control it. There's two minutes to go in this game. Arizona State with the one goal lead here. UCSB looking tight as ASU picks it back the other way, but it'll pass comes all the way back out. Vieira sends it for Kevin Mooney. And now UCSB pulls the goalie. Extra attacker out for the Gauchos. It's Duncan Prince. Kevin Mooney slowly skates it up. 1.30 to go, shot from the side, heels on on the one time, but couldn't quite get everything on that one. But it comes back out for Mooney, sends another shot through, deflected high this time. Andrew Vieira will hold on to it. 1.20 on the clock. Vieira, Duncan Prince exchanging. Back to Vieira up top. He'll switch up with Mooney who picks it up. Shot from down low for the one timer again by Paquette. Able to get it to it is Duncan Prince and back out for Vieira. 
Just under a minute to go. Looks for the shot, oh. off the post. Tyler Baroni now in the far corner, back up for Vieira. The shot, that one pops up and UCSP will be able to recover it, but there's 35 seconds left on the clock. Kevin Mooney skating in. They need to, they need to tie the game here. 25 seconds, UCSB maintains it. There is here up top, they continue to exchange. Taken away, Kevin Mooney still on it. 15 seconds left, out in front, the shot saved by Giddings. Giddings with the glove as there's 9.9 .9 seconds left on the clock. Face off will be over to the left of Giddings. And probably the most important face-off of the game about to be taken. Kevin Mooney and Wes Fry at the face-off dot. Mooney wins it back. Off the boards here. Five seconds. Mooney taken off it by Wes Fry. Shot from out far and it's over. Arizona State outlasts the storm. They make it through and they pick up the Division I championship. Arizona State winning the best of three series with a 3-2 victory over UCSB. And it was a hard fought one there as UCSB had momentum going their way in the final period after picking up the goals. And Arizona State able to outlast that one and pick up the win. Game winning goal for the Arizona State Sun Devils coming courtesy of Wes Fry. And that was all the way back in the second period. And I mean, Aaron Giddings standing on his head for sure as there's so many chances there for UCSB. But it'll be ASU that comes up with the win and pick up the Division I championship and that's their second Division I championship in a row there as they were the, as they were last year's Division I championships as well. So repeat championships for Arizona State, picking it up here at Corona. So that's going to be all for the broadcast this season for the WCRHL. Thank you so much for joining us here and staying along with us. It's been Brian Chong on the call. You can easily find me at Cal Poly Hockey. Follow us on Facebook over there for uh, updates on the Cal Poly hockey team. The D2 team will be playing in the semifinals tomorrow morning. Unfortunately, we won't be able to be bringing you those games live, but that will be it for us here. From the Ring Tech Corona Inline, it's been Brian Chong. Special thanks, of course, to Vincent Layuzzi for the camera today. <laughs> and yeah, thanks so much. We'll see you next season.